What's going on there guys? Good afternoon. Good Saturday afternoon. It's the Earthmaster here on the live stream with an update video on this June 4th, 2022 date. It's about 11, uh, actually 1.13 p.m. Kind of read that wrong. Latest quake shows a 2.9 earthquake on the Earthquake 3D globe. Over here around the, uh, looks like Oklahoma area. Kind of an oddball earthquake. Maybe even looks like it's in Colorado. Let's go ahead and check out the latest activity here on the map from the uh, USGS model showing some movement into the area of El Moro, Colorado. Is that right? Southern Colorado, seen a 2.9 north of Trinidad. Kind of a little odd area to see some earthquake activity, although they do get some on occasion. Last seven days of activity around this region, not uh, showing too much. Even the last 30 days, I don't think we've seen anything up here uh, around the Colorado area so a little odd uh, let's go ahead and get a little bit of specs on these uh, on this earthquake here looks like uh, pretty shallow depth there about uh, five kilometers a couple people did report filling it here is the did you fill it report so not a whole lot looks like around the Trinidad area um, historical earthquake activity I've seen a little earthquake here on the map looks like there has been some here around the Canadian River uh, historically in terms of um, well, since about 1900 or so 4.5 and above within this region so not super rare but then again not uh not all that common for this area to see earthquake activity there in the southern colorado region uh, we have seen low activity move inland into kansas as well overnight at 3.0 near the gypsum kansas area 5.0 uh, five kilometers below the surface for that 3.0 and some activity around the Oklahoma area. And also the New Madrid zone showing a 2.1 uh, in the Missouri area. It looks like about 9.5 kilometers for that earthquake for the depth. And uh, Texas area kind of calming down a little bit con compared to, well, the week past where we've seen quite a bit of swarming kick up here in the West Texas area, just outside of Pecos, Texas, around these, uh, a whole lot of operations out there field operations in terms of uh, injection wells and oil pumping operations out there in the desert uh, let's see what do we got here for the west coast uh, not a whole lot going on through northern california or the central part of the state uh, looks like the majority and there's not even a lot here along the uh, southern part of the state within the last hour uh, most of these earthquakes here uh, over the last 24 hours but nothing uh, like I mentioned there within the last hour. So some activity around the San Jacinto fault zone, but no major swarming to take note of and no major unusual activity uh, to report. There are a couple of earthquakes here uh, outside of Santa Monica, 1.5 and 1.7 near the Culver City area uh, next to the Santa, Mar uh, Santa Monica airports. But uh, otherwise things look like they're uh, just a little quiet for now along the west coast and that could have to do with the activity we've seen overnight we've seen some large-scale movement uh, along the um, the western por southwestern portion here of the pacific plate allowing for some major adjustment that we haven't seen in a while i've been kind of watching this zone pretty closely but we've seen a 6.2 in the tonga area pretty deep earthquake at 238 uh, and then we've seen a 6.4 uh, west of the um, Macquarie Island area that's out here around the Antarctica plate and the Australian plate here South Pacific Ocean well south of Australia but uh, looks like that 6.2 up here earlier uh, if you notice the timestamps here there's only a few minutes 10 minutes apart from both of these earthquakes uh, seem, seems like we had just enough pressure here uh, to add that surface quake that we've seen uh, down here in the South Pacific Ocean. These deeper earthquakes tend to put a lot of strain on other areas of the plate. A lot of times they are upstream. In this case, kind of down here along the area uh, between this uh, almost triple point area between three separate plates. There's definitely a lot of, uh, a lot of westward movement here. 6.4 striking uh, when was that that was actually earlier earlier this morning late overnight time frame just kind of getting a, a late update video out that was about uh, man about five six hours ago or so 
Uh, far as any recent movement since then, looks like uh, not a whole lot. 4.6 in the Fiji Islands area. Of course, this was all prior to these two six-pointers that kicked off. So definitely a lot of deeper earthquake activity and uh, some big time buildup down here in the South Pacific Ocean. But I still think here, when you get this type of scenario, deeper movement here, uh, and then some shallower movement activity on an adjacent plate, still gotta watch what's going on here in this region considering the direction of the pressure northwestward movement, uh, specifically into the subduction zone, uh, Hikarangi subduction zone northward into the Kermadec Trench. Gotta watch those pretty closely. Because um, that's a lot of movement. Two six-pointers there kicking up. Uh, up north, there's not a whole lot. Uh, we did have a 4.6 around the Japan area. It's right there at the northern end of the Philippine plate. It's this little separate section here. At the trench level, about 60 kilometers there into this trench. Not a whole lot going on northward through the uh, Japan Trench or the Kuril Kamchaka Trench. Uh, south of Taiwan, seen a couple earthquakes earlier this morning. Uh, and then again, that was prior to the large-scale movement down south here. Java Trench, quiet. A couple pairs of earthquakes out here through the Middle East. Nothing major going on. Some earthquake activity around the Mediterranean Sea as well. Looking at the timestamps though of these, uh, well, doesn't look like anything's recent. In fact, all of this, this activity uh, was prior uh, to the movement that we've seen this morning with the uh, two earthquakes there in the uh, in this area of the map. South Sandwich Islands did see a uh, little activity as well. Again, this was prior uh, to those six pointers. So seems like we kind of settled into place right now with these two earthquakes taking place. They haven't really uh, haven't really seen too much in terms of uh, uh, uptick anywhere around the globe since then. About the only one was at 4.6 up here uh, off the coast of Japan. And of course, some of this odd activity happening inland uh, into the uh, North American plate. It is kind of, like I mentioned, not, uh, out on the outer edges here of the North American craton. Can't, well, you can kind of see it here on the map throughout the Great Plains northward. Uh, it does kind of stretch down into the Texas area as well, but I uh, yeah, might have to watch that pretty closely there. Seeing some inland movement like that kind of gives us a, um, a, a telltale sign of uh, some stuff going on here along the North American plate. South America region, not a whole lot going on. 4.5 in the Peru area and down south into the Chile region of 4.0. Uh, let's see if we got anything going on at Yellowstone. I don't believe we have too much stuff going on here. Uh, looks like the signatures there from the six-pointer show up, showed up, I should say throughout the uh, throughout the graphs here but no localized activity to report uh, across the map in terms of uh, anything no microquakes anything going on here pretty quiet there at Yellowstone National Park the trimmer activity last night was kind of a, a little dwindling down 47 epicenters along the Cascadia subduction zone and uh, most of it is up there outside of Seattle looking at the uh, activity around Mount St. Helens. Not a whole lot showing up here on the map, but uh, again, like I say, we like to check this out. We did have an issue last night with it coming up as far as the image goes. Uh, let's see if they fix that issue. And um, hopefully. Yep. Yeah, it looks like they had some type of uh, data issue here prior to the, uh, looks like right around the 420 UTC time about 9 p.m. it came back on uh, Pacific time so looks like uh, still continued earthquake activity there at Mount St. Helens some very small microquakes notice the wavy lines though those are going to be the S waves uh, from those six pointers that kicked off um, early this morning late last night time frame uh, and since then uh, kind of just a few microquakes a handful of quakes there throughout the Mount St. Helens area but uh, other than that there's a uh, Man, not a whole lot going on on the sun either, but we will check it. That's a lot of movement though. Two earthquakes um, within a short amount of time of each other. Uh, let's see. It looks like we had maybe a little... Nah, 
didn't even reach the C flare category here. A little bit of flaring going on, but uh, nothing really of concern at all. Things are kind of very quiet. The sunspots are not looking uh, at all dynamic in terms of producing any type of flaring. And in fact, there's not a whole lot here as you look towards the eastern limb. Uh, so, man, not good. All right, guys, I am going to get off here. Uh, we got a little bit of rain coming in here to California today. A little bit, uh, maybe pick up about three tenths of an inch of rain. And uh, hey, I will take anything over nothing because next weekend, actually towards the uh, middle of next week, we're looking at uh, highs in the upper 90s and low 100s and possibly Friday and Saturday around 110, 110 degrees for a couple days. Oh, I'm not liking that one bit, so I'm not a big heat fan, folks. Let me tell you, I don't like this extreme heat. Alrighty, uh, let's see. Let's see if anything else is being reported here. A lot of this is EMSC activity. There is, even though the USGS wasn't showing a lot of movement here throughout the uh, southern end of the Philippine Trench, it looks like, through Java, uh, I believe... Yeah, a lot of those are some twos and threes kicking up here. So we're still seeing some movement and also out here around the uh, the um, Middle East and the Mediterranean Sea region still seeing some activity. Just nothing big, uh, nothing above the 4.0 threshold for the most part. Uh, just like we've seen on the map, a couple spotty uh, fours throughout the region. And then again, some of that was older. But uh, I still think we got to watch out. This is the most recent quake here. Uh, around the New Zealand area 3.1 right in the mix right in the middle of these two six pointers so um, you know when you're when you're pulling on a plate and pushing a plate over here you gotta gotta be looking at some adjustment here pretty soon and uh, I know we haven't seen anything major happen here in a little while um, I, th I definitely think it's a little overdue for at least close to a six pointer within this region we'll watch it pretty closely see how it plays out but uh, have a great day, everyone, and we will chat you guys a little bit later tonight for the Saturday night show. I'll see you guys uh, right, right around 7 o'clock or so tonight. Have a good day, folks, and stay safe.